guys, what's up? My name is Olivia and you're watching Bookish Breakfast Nights channel and today I am doing my October wrap up. Now in the month of October I read five, I read a total of five books and I'm going to share them with you and my rating. So let's get started. First book that I read is Never Night by J. Kristoff and I was very skeptical of this book because I wanted something that you know I didn't really see it before and as I'm seeing it now and I've read it I uh, this is something I've never read before it was similar in the sense to to the Throne of Glass series but I really thoroughly enjoyed this book and I gave it a five out of five stars the next book that I read is Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff are we seeing a theme anyway so this book is basically about space wars. Anyway, this is about space wars and spaceships and I didn't know if I was going to like this book because I didn't know how I was going to enjoy the format because if you haven't seen the format, it's like this. It's basically told in text messages and emails and files and I was a little skeptical of that because I didn't know what to expect from it. So, you can imagine when I finished the book and I enjoyed it, I loved it, and I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. The next book that I read is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah here. So, this book is about a soldier and a peasant girl who basically find each other when the resistance is involved, and I was so, so skeptical of this book too because I didn't know what to expect from it because a lot of people did have mixed reviews. But I loved it, and it was amazing. So I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. The next book that I read is a contemporary that I decided to give a chance, and that is To All of Boys I Loved Before by a Jenny Han. And I have read some Jenny Han books before I read the summer. I turned pretty series or trilogy, and I absolutely loved it. And I loved this one too. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. And lastly, I read The Fever Code by James Dashner, which is a prequel to The Maze Runners. And I love this. It gave me a good sense of what my son, what happens to my son before the maze, and I loved it so much. And there are some parts of this book that made me cry, and I just cried internally and externally because of my son Newt. And I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. Alright, that was my wrap up. I only have 20 seconds left to film on this, this laptop thing so I am going to go. My name's Olivia here watching Focus for Kids Slash Channel and I hope to see you soon with another video. Bye!